Oh, hello there. I'm going to teach you how to make a chicken and bacon roulade. It's going to be scrummy. Reminds me of home. It's going to taste like Christmas. It's going to feel like Christmas. This is Minnie Mouse. I am, of course, Santa Claus. And this is what you're going to need. You're going to need some pistachio nuts. Philadelphia cream cheese. That's some thigh. Bones out. Bacon. Instant potato flakes. Oh. And some cranberries, because cranberries is Christmas. So what are we doing, Santa? This is what we're going to do. We're going to rip some paper. Just like that. About that much. Right, would you like to take that out? Yep. Yeah. Right, this is what you're going to do. Place it like that. And then the next one is going to be just overlapping it. Just about, just a little bit over. About like that. See like that, just so it's... Once all that's done, pull this to the side. The cranberries, pistachio, and cream cheese. All right, we're gonna put some in. About a half a cup. Pistachios, uh, maybe a quarter of a cup. We don't need a knife, we have craft scissors. This just gonna help it stop going all runny. You don't want it runny, do you? And it's gluten free. Fantastic. Just gonna want to butterfly it out a bit like this. Let's see how this cut a little bit. I'm just gonna do this a little bit like this. So it's all like this. Santa, I don't know you need that much about cooking. Yeah, I know lots about cooking. Lots. The last one's a big one. It is a big one. Right. Once you've done that. You've got your bacon, you're going to lay your chicken thigh like this, lengthwise, lengthwise, lengthwise. <laughs> Now we get the mix. Yes. Is this good, Santa? Yes. It has to go in a line. Like this, you're gonna pick it up like sushi. And you're gonna get it like that. So, do you want the parchment paper touching the yeah. bacon? Yeah, and then you're gonna get it to this part. You see, along there, and you're going to just pull it a little bit like that. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Yes. Yes. Just like that, and then roll it back this way. Perfect. Perfect. Now you want to grab some aluminum foil. 
Aluminum. It's tin foil. Aluminum. Aluminum. It's a funny word. You've been watching too much American TV. Yep. Oh, it's actually got some stuff in it. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Now we're going to put that in the oven at about 180 degrees. I don't even know how long until it's cooked. Maybe about 45 minutes. Maybe longer. Mm. Maybe one hour. Mm. I'll tell you later. Yeah. I'm a busy man, so I'm not ashamed to use a bit of roast chicken. Magic gravy mix. It's excellent. Right, now once the roulade's out of the oven, you're going to want, oh, careful, it's hot. You're going to want to just unwrap it a little bit, very gently, very gently, <gasps> just like that. Uh, if you just peel the tin foil on the paper back, that's going to need to go back into the oven at quite a high temperature for about 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 225 degrees. Yes, I have a Santa glove. Uh, this is the creamer I had earlier. I've put my asparagus and my red onions on there, and they're going to go back in that same oven for about five minutes. Yes, five. Now, I found some Tamarillo chutney, probably from last Christmas, so uh, I'll put some of that on because it's very nice. Very nice. Give it a mix. Right now, once it's out of the oven, you're going to want to leave it for a little bit. I didn't. I sliced it straight away because I've got many things to do. Now, you could slice this up into however many pieces you want. Anything. You can even cool it and serve it the next day. How easy is that? Oh, marvelous. Look at that beautiful thing. Now, as you can see, I've sliced it. I've put a little bit of the salad next to it and some gravy. That is a beautiful lunch. Enjoy your Christmas. You won't see well, me. I hope you enjoyed that, family. Uh, Santa's helpers. <laughs> Me and my mate, we're off to do some more work and see you in December. No, you won't see me.